Hello everyone. Today's lesson is spinal muscular atrophy. The background of the discussion or the objective of the discussion include overview of spinal muscular atrophy, explain the difference between types of spinal muscular atrophy, discuss the complications and the impact of spinal muscular atrophy and the review current drug therapies which are approved for the treatment of spinal muscular atrophy. Spinal muscular atrophy is a degenerative disease of motor neurons that begins in the fetal life and continues to be progressive in infancy and the childhood. Among the autosomal recessive disorder in childhood, spinal muscular atrophy is the most common cause of infant mortality and is the second in birth prevalence next to cystic fibrosis. The incidence of spinal muscular atrophy is estimated to be 1 in 6,000 to 1 in 10,000 newborns. Carrier frequency is around 1 in 40 to 1 in 16. Spinal muscular atrophy is caused by a homozygous deletion in the survival motor neuron, which is found on the chromosome 5. The pathologic hallmark of spinal muscular atrophy is the progressive denervation of the muscle. This is compensated for in part by renervation from adjacent motor unit, but giant motor units are thus created. With subsequent atrophy of muscle fibers, when the re-innervating motor neuron eventually becomes evolved, and the motor neurons of cranial nerve 3, 4, and the 6 to the extraocular muscles, as well as those of the sacral spinal cord innervating straighten muscles of the ureter and the anal splitters are selectively spared. The upper motor neurons are, uh, they almost remain normal in the case of spinal muscular atrophy. Regarding pathophysiology, survival motor neuron protein facilitates proper signaling between central nervous system motor neurons and the muscles in the body. The survival motor neuron gene arrests apoptosis of motor neuroblasts normally. They arrest apoptosis. Spinal muscular atrophy is an autosomal recessive condition caused by deletion or mutation of this survival motor neuron 1 gene, resulting in a shortage of survival motor neuron protein, which causes progression of apoptosis of motor neuroblasts. Survival motor neuron 2 gene produces a small amount of functional language survival motor neuron protein, and an increase in copy number may decrease severity of disease, but cannot fully compensate for the loss of function of SMN1. When we see the clinical manifestation of spinal muscular atrophy, this problem is in the differential diagnosis list of floppy infant syndrome. The cardinal feature of the classic, the most common phenotype of SMA is SMA type 1. It can be summarized as a presentation before the age of 6 months with severe hypotonia, symmetric generalized muscle weakness affecting the lower limbs more than the upper limbs, proximal more than distal, frog leg posture, absence of deep tender reflex, and tongue fasciculation and selective involvement of axial and intercostal muscle but sparing diaphragm. Due to the involvement of intercostal respiratory muscles, there is a typical paradoxical abdominal breathing pattern, bell-shaped chest and a weak calf. Infant is life lacid with little involvement and little movement and unable to overcome gravity and lack head control. In contrast to their severe weakness and floppiness, Infants with SMA type 1 have an alert and bright expression with preserved cognitive functions. There is no involvement of the facial and extraocular muscles at presentation, although facial weakness does occur at later stage of the disease. There are around five types of spinal muscular atrophy, but I included here for only four of them. The type 0 is mostly found during uh, intratriumphate. They start with uh, decreased fetal movement even during the triatoran period and uh, it might end up with stillbirths or days within the first months of life. The other and the most common type is type 1 spinal muscular atrophy which is responsible for 60%. These symptoms start at birth to 6 months and type 2 is around 20% and the symptoms start in this case from 3 to 15 months and the type 3 is around 30%, type 4 is less than 50%. Type 3 starts from 18 months to adult and the type 4 is late onset. When we see the diagnosis, the simplest 
most definitive first step diagnosis test in a patient with clinical suspicion of a SMEs, a molecular genetic marker in the blood for the homozygous deletion in survival motor neuron 1. The current gold standard is survival motor neuron 1 deletion or mutation and survival motor neuron 2 copy number testing with a minimal standard of SMNA1 deletion testing. The absence of SMNA1 axon with or without deletion of axon 8 confirms the diagnosis of SMA. The genetic test for SMA has 90% sensitive and nearly 100% specific. When we see the complications and the impact, the first complication is respiratory, potential dependence on calf assisted device, BiPAP, CPAP, ventilator, and the tracheostomy might be needed. The other is feeding and nutrition. Impacted ability to feed self and the swallow and the risk of aspiration can occur, so we need to feeding might be needed. The other is activities of daily living, potential loss of ability to live independently, may become reliant on home healthy nursing and durable medical equipment use and other assistance. The other is decline in motor function abilities. When we see spinal muscular atrophy treatments, currently there are different treatment options which are uh, licensed. The first one is nusinersin. When we see mechanism of action of nusinersin, survival motor neuron to direct antisense oligonucleotide that increases exon 7 inclusion in SMNA to messenger ribonucleic acid transcript to produce full length SMN protein. Uh, this is indicated for treatment of SMA pediatric and adult patients and here is a dose. It's given intrathecally. The other is Risdipla. This has also its own mechanism of action and it's indicated for treatment of SMA in patients two months of age and older and it is uh, prepared or it's available in oral solution and it's administered daily orally. Uh, this is all about spinal muscular atrophy. Thank you for watching and also subscribing to the channel.